Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Arturo Fuente 858. One of the first cigars I ever had. Still good after all these years. Well, this isn't the first one I ever had. You know what I mean. Crown Peach Sprite. Beautiful, beautiful afternoon in North Carolina. Eastern North Carolina. Oh, it is probably high 70s now. Just perfect. Nice breeze. And uh, we're in good shape. So, I thought I'd do a quick video. I have to jump over and do something for my... Uh, my leadership MBA class. I got a meet and greet tonight. Yeah, I'm going to get on that Zoom with a cigar and a drink. It's an MBA class. Everybody does it. My professor smokes cigars. Hey, who cares? So, I wanted to share my experience, man. I had one this week. Uh, I had a humdinger. And you all know if I have a humdinger, I usually share it. So, let's talk about Home Depot, shall we? Oh, Home Depot. Now, I want to like Home Depot. <clears throat> I worked for them for a year and a half, and candidly, I may still have stayed with them had I not been in the situation I was in. Um, my experience was negative. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of friends in the Home Depot supply chain. They are a fantastic supply chain. World class. They've got state-of-the-art stuff and growing by leaps and bounds. Well, Tuesday, I get this call from a third-party appliance delivery. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been talking about, I'm so excited for my freezer to come on April 17th for weeks, a couple weeks since I've ordered it. Dogs are out here playing, so pardon them. But anyhow, get this call from this third-party uh, delivery company saying, hey, due to your item being back-ordered, we are going to move your delivery date from April 17th to June 26th. Let that sink in. You're going to move my delivery date two months and a week? Two months and nine days? You think that's okay? And top it off, Home Depot, you didn't call me. The delivery company, third party, whoever you're using, called me. And it was not even a person. It was a stinking automated... York delivery for April 17th has been moved to June 26th due to back work. Here's my problem, and here's why Home Depot, shame on you, and you lied to me. And I, I, You lied to me. And I know you lied to me because I, I used to work for you. And I know logistics. I ordered this freezer. The time I got the message, I ordered the freezer 13 days before that. Folks, it does not take 13 days to figure out an item is backordered with a real-time inventory system. It tells you right then. And I get it. Maybe even if it didn't tell me right then. I'll give you a day. Maybe. Maybe two. But a day. Max. You know, to, to come back and say, hey, you know, blah, blah, blah. And even then I would question it because this is a real-time system. You had inventory on hand, Home Depot. You had it on hand. You were selling it. You took my money for product that you had in inventory. And you let me sit there for 13 days thinking in two more weeks I'm going to get my freezer. And then you let this stinking third-party service call me that's an automated service on top of it. You lied. I know what you did. High demand for freezers. Someone in your supply chain made the decision that I'm going to take this freezer, put it in a store, and sell it marked up because I happened to buy it as a deal of the day online. So it was a little bit marked down. Not only did they probably mark it up to regular price, they probably increased the price because of the demand and sold it in their store. You know you did at Home Depot. You know you did. You took my money, you sold my freezer, and then you thought, oh, I'll be the sucker and uh, stick around two months while you get another one back on back order. Baloney. Baloney. Never again, Home Depot. Never again. And I, I hate it because I try to like you. I try to like you better than Lowe's and Menards. Oh, God, I wish we had a Menards here. Oh, 
I wish we had a Menards. I miss that store so much. But now I'll pay a higher price at Lowe's because I've never been, ever been jacked like that. So shame on you, Home Depot. I said I'm a nice long letter, professional. And I uh, got a call today from the corporate executive team because I sent this. I didn't just send it to the. I sent it to their executive vice president of, of supply chain. Was, heck, I met him a bunch of times when I worked for him. I know who he is. And I told him the story. And I was very professional and very, got my money back. They called today and I, I just got a message. But call us back. Let's see what we can do. No. You should have done that the first time. You should have said, we screwed up. Whatever excuse you wanted to offer me, I know what you did. Because I, I know logistics. I know what you did. I know you had inventory on hand. I know you sold it. And, uh, and if you didn't, then shame on you. Because then you misrepresented that you had inventory on hand and sold it, which is even worse. So either way, you're bad. But now you want to call me and say, what can we do to make it right? Is there another option for you? See, you should have done that the first place. That's why you're growing too fast, Home Depot. You're growing too fast for your own good. I know you got this big plan to put a distribution center. The Home Depot philosophy before I left was they want to be able to reach every zip code within a day and in a lot of zip codes, same day delivery. Sounds great on paper. They want to compete with Amazon in the appliance, especially appliance and building construction. If you order a refrigerator, we'll have it there that evening. Not like that, you won't. And not losing customers like that, you won't. So, again, beware. Beware, Home Depot folks. All my friends in the Home Depot supply chain, hey, man, it is what it is. I'm not calling you out personally. I'm calling your company out for what they did. And if anybody can make sense of it, give me one reason why... 13 days goes by, and my order is on time, the whole 13, checking it, still ready for delivery, still ready for delivery. And then, oh, 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 it's back ordered now. Eh, you sold it in a store at a marked up price, and you thought I would hang out for two months, so wrong. Took my money, went to Best Buy. And I'll have a freezer. Now I have to wait two more weeks, which makes me mad. But it's a better freezer. It's an upright. And it'll be delivered May 2nd on Saturday. Beware out there, folks. Beware. Know what your companies are doing. I got to jump off and get to my meeting. But shame on you, Home Depot. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. Shame. And double shame. Because no matter how you cut it, there's no explanation. Not one. Anyhow, be safe, everybody. Take care of yourselves. We'll catch you next time. Have a great night, everybody.